Hello and welcome to PE Buddy. Mr. D here. Today we're going to have a look at macronutrients. Our learning goal is to gain an overview of the macronutrients. By the end of this video, you'll be able to describe each macronutrient and their energy and provide one food example for each. Let's get into it. So, first up we have protein. You'll notice we have some blue text and a pencil. Whenever you see this, pause the video and write down notes. This will help you later on. So protein, the main function of protein is repair and growth of the body. Food examples include meat, eggs and milk. Next we have carbohydrates. The main function of carbohydrates is energy for the body. Examples include sugar, bread, rice and pasta. Finally, we have fats. We're going to focus on the good fats. These assist with organ protection, energy, and hormone production. Examples include avocado, olive oil, and nuts. So those are the three macronutrients, but the key question is how do you know which one is which? Let's have a think about colors. So for proteins, if we look at this picture, we can see a lot of reds and a lot of whites. This is a helpful hint when you're looking at food to determine if it contains protein. Another tip is if it's an animal product, it always contains protein. Next we have carbohydrates. Again, if we look at this image, it's full of dull colors, greens, browns, yellows. Again, this helps us identify carbohydrates. Another helpful tip is these are the things that usually fill us up in our meal. Finally, we have good fats. As opposed to carbohydrates, good fats are quite bright in color. We can see oil is a good fat, and these are quite oily foods, salmon and avocado. Again, or helping us to know that they are good fats. For our first task, pause this video, write a list of everything that you ate yesterday. Breakfast, morning tea, lunch, afternoon tea, dinner, and supper. Number two, label if it contains carbohydrates, fat, or protein. Use the tips that we just went through to help you. An example would be for breakfast, toast contains carbs, eggs contain protein, and butter contains fat. Off you go, good luck. So let's move on to energy. So each macronutrient provides a different amount of energy per gram. These are measured in kilojoules in places like Australia or calories in many other countries around the world. In this diagram, it shows us that chemical energy in the form of carbohydrates, fats and proteins comes into our body. This is what provides energy for movement and existence. So again, we have blue text and a pencil, so write these down. Protein provides 17 kilojoules per gram. Carbohydrates, also 17 kilojoules per gram. Fat, a lot more at 37 kilojoules per gram. If we go on to the calories, both protein and carbs are four calories per gram each. And fat yields nine calories. Top tip, these are often questions in tests and quizzes. So what does this mean in the context of our daily food intake? So here's the healthy eating pyramid. So take note of where and how much of each macronutrient is recommended for each day. So first in the green we have our carbohydrates. We know that down the bottom we have breads, pastas, rice. We know they are carbohydrates. Also in that family includes fruit and vegetables. You can see this is quite a large proportion of our daily intake of food. Next in the blue we have our proteins. Again we can identify these with their colors, reds and whites. And all of these are products from animals. Again, with quite a large proportion of our daily intake, but not quite as large as our carbohydrates. Finally, we have our good fats right up the top. You can see these are quite a small amount compared to the rest of our intake of food. All right, it's time for task two. This is a little bit of a quiz to see how well you've understood the content we've gone through so far. So over the next couple of slides, there's gonna be different images of foods. You need to write down numbers one to eight on a piece of paper. As we go through them, label which macronutrients are present in the food shown. There are eight images, so keep your score. Good luck. First we have oil. Which macronutrient is present in oil? Good fat. What about rice? Carbs. Avocado. Again, good fat. Beef. Think about colors and where it comes from. Protein. How about eggs? Again, protein. Bread. Carbs. What about nuts? 
there may be more than one macronutrient here. Think about it. Nuts contain both fat and protein. What about this meal? Again, there may be more than one macronutrient present. So it contains protein with our meat here and carbs with our potatoes, bread and vegetables. How did you go? What was your score out of eight? Comment in the video below with your score. So our learning goal is to gain an overview of the macronutrients. By now you should be able to describe each of the macronutrients and the energy they produce and provide one food example for each. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and comment with any feedback or other things that you'd like to learn about and subscribe for more. Thanks everyone. Bye.